Hi, this is Heidi Highland coming to you from Minneapolis, Minnesota on the shores of Gleason Lake. I love being in my garden. I hope you love being in your garden too. I'm always learning something. I'm always playing and exploring and Mother Nature is a good teacher. So this barn bed here for me is Manhattan real estate. I see it as I look out my living room window, my bedroom window, our den, my office. I really like a lot of color going in this garden. So besides the perennials, I also grow dahlias and they're just starting to come into bloom here. They typically do to like the heat and any flower that needs to get up to a certain height before it blooms is going to take a while to get there. Even if you start them in a greenhouse, they still are, um, they flourish more in the heat of the summer. So the dahlias are just starting to open up now and these ones are just faded. I didn't quite pick them in time to put them on my counter, but um, dahlias can take a lot of work. They're a high maintenance plant. They need staking. They need thinning to get bigger flowers. These are dinner plate dahlias. They're not quite dinner plate size because I've left too much green on the plant. We suggest that you open up the plant to three or five really healthy stems and then um, the plant can spend more energy producing those blooms than worrying about all of that leafy green. And you know what? There's just too many chores in the day and I haven't quite gotten to it. But I'm going to soon because I want better blooms. This Monarda is not a native here. It's a cultivar. Um, Marshall's Delight. Really fabulous Monarda. We like to use natives as well as cultivars and this one does not get powdery mildew and is a really wonderful color. Couples fabulously with the Ligularia the Rocket. One of my favorite plants. It's in sun now but I make sure it has afternoon shade because those leaves will curl up in the heat of the afternoon. Ligularia can take a little bit of light, but make sure it's in a wet spot because um, it, it does like to have wet feet. Another shade plant, and I consider this a shade garden because again, remember, we talked about morning light is shade to me. This is morning light. It's 930 here. And um, a stilby right down here, this variety, I don't remember the variety of this fabulous little pink one. But a, a still becomes, this is a Sprite type, which means it's a little bit shorter, or Chinensis. And they come in all sorts of colors. White, pink, reds, and different heights. Short, medium, tall. Different types of bloom. The one thing they all have in common is, again, they like wet feet. You can push the envelope sun shade, but make sure it's moist. Otherwise, the foliage really doesn't look very good at all. Sometimes, like on a Monarda, People complain that maybe it's too healthy and oh my gosh, it's taking over and it gets too big. Monarda does have a square stem. Anything with a square stem is in the mint family, so it spreads by stoloniferous roots. It's real easy just to pull one out though. You just go on the edge and you just pull and you can remove it and throttle the plant back. I prefer healthy plants and to get them, we really front load our gardens with copious amounts of fertilizer, Melorganite is a natural based fertilizer, and then compost. If you can make your own compost on site, that's great. We've got the curly pond leaf from Gleason Lake here that we will use in the gardens. When we first started talking together, it was spring. Now it's July, the heat of the summer and the humidity is here, and all of our plants are popping early this year. Our early spring, front-loaded all of the perennials and they're in full bloom. I'm certainly at a peak here in this garden.